Hey. This is Hannibal from the. You better have my money. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go, go, go back ahead. Hannibal here from the Hannibal TV.com with the road dog, Jesse James, who I believe you're still working for WWE and uh, you've had a long career. I've followed it from WCW, uh, from your days singing uh, <laughs> for Jeff Jarrett. Oh, yeah. um, what are you up to these I've days? I've done karaoke a couple of times too, but it was drunk karaoke and it was about as bad as the performance we had at the Hall of Fame. Uh, but yeah, so I'm still with WWE. I work down at NXT, uh, working uh, on their live television shows every Wednesday, kind of, kind of a creative consultant and a producer on the television show. So having a really good time and loving Wednesday nights, I think, just like everybody else. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know if you could really talk about this, but do you think they're going to use more main roster stars to kind of give it a quick boost to uh, kind of get ahead in the competition? Do you think we're going to continue seeing the slow and steady uh, Yeah, yeah. I look, I think we, we use the mantra a lot. It's a marathon and not a sprint. What, we're using a lot of the top tier I don't want to say main roster talent because now we're we're definitely a third brand and equivalent as you can see with with survivor series but because of survivor series that's why you're seeing some of the top talent come down there and participate in the nxt live television tapings um however like i do think it would be cool if some of the mainstays from nxt the the shinsuke nakamura's the finn balor like we're doing now uh just come down for a stint but i don't think it's anything about trying to compete i think our our objective and, our, and our, again our mantra is slow and steady will win the race. We'll keep doing the best television shows we can do uh, 52 weeks a year. Hopefully they'll re-up after that and we'll have another opportunity to continue on because I think there's a lot of top talent in NXT that people haven't witnessed yet. Uh, the Adam Coles of the world, the, these guys, the, the UE as a whole, the, the Velveteen Dreams, uh, a lot Matt Riddle, a lot of guys, Keith Lee, a lot of guys, the, the, the list goes on and on. A lot of guys that are really good at what they do and the world just hasn't had an opportunity to see them just yet so I think we're going to stick with our roster because we're pretty proud of it. People like to pick on the creative a lot on the internet but it's one of the toughest jobs if not the toughest in the wrestling business all the stress you have to create television every week and two or three hours in some cases how much time do you put into an average work week when you're working on a big show like Smackdown? Well, well I was literally sitting here signing autographs and, and trying to reply to a text thread and email thread where we're coming up with the creative for this coming up week so so we're, you're never really off when you when you work on the creative team it's kind of a 24 7 gig look I know better than anybody because of the hashtag fire road dog uh, campaign that went on about my handling of Smackdown but it is it's a lot tougher than people think they, they don't they're not having to keep the lights on they're just fantasy booking and so a, a lot does go into it it is a full-time job and a, and a stressful one to your point and for your wrestling career, last question here, because I know you're busy, as you just mentioned. What's your favorite match of your career? You've had so many. I've been asked that a few times here today, and uh, I think it would have to be the dumpster match uh, with Billy and, and Mankind and Terry Funk. Like It really put us on the map, and uh, it doesn't hurt that I got paid more for that match than any other match. <laughs> And last thing, I just remember China went into the Hall of Fame with you guys this year. Are you happy that she was finally put in because there was controversy? Very, very happy. And look, I think uh, I don't think there was as much controversy as people think there is. I think it was just a timing thing, and the timing was right. I do think that was the first step in, in the right direction to where I'm hoping. Uh, just hopeful that she'll go in on her own, of her own merits, because I think she she broke a lot of glass ceilings in the in the sports entertainment industry, and she was an intricate part of Degeneration X for sure. And when I say that, I mean that. Like she was very creative, very funny, very entertaining woman, and so uh, yeah, very proud that we got to induct her, her along with us, you know, this year. Where can we follow you for the fans watching if they want to follow you? So I'm on Facebook at BG James. Uh, I'm on. Uh, Twitter at WWE Road Dog and Instagram the same. Uh, m mostly on Twitter is, is where I play. I'm too old for uh, Instagram and Snapchat, so I just kind of have those accounts. You're looking in good shape, though. <laughs> well, I, I've, uh, I've gained a few pounds, but uh, I'm eating whatever I want to eat and living a good life. I turned 50. I love my wife, and I can't afford a Corvette, so I grew this stupid beard. But uh, hashtag Chris Kringle. You know what I mean? Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Good luck with all Thank your you uh, creative.